Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I am Mimi and this is my frugal life. And I did an earlier video on my budget chili. I'm going to let you know how that's going right now. Um, I am using my crock pot for it. And as you can see, that's my chili. It seemed very, very thick in the beginning, so I did have to add more water because I, I wanted everything in there to cook. So um, I did add some water. I might have to add a tiny bit more. But what I did um, to make sure that it comes out even better than it was the last time is I wanted to make sure that I added a little bit of rice. I just threw in some raw rice and it's gonna cook up fine. So I switched it from high to low, putting the cover back on it and I'm just gonna let it stay, okay? Part two of the meal is you always gotta have something on the side, right? And this goes back to why I was trying not to add the rice um, because I'm doing some big stuffed potatoes. This is really easy. Um, all you do is you bake your potatoes, and I did two of them. I did them in the oven. They baked in about an hour. Always make sure that you scrub the outside of your potatoes, whether you eat the skin or not. Um, okay, you could um, get really, really sick. There's a lot of diseases and things that you could get. We don't want that to happen. Also, um, what, I, what I did was I baked them, and when they were done, I cut them in half, and I let them cool off a little bit. I got a spoon and a bowl. I scraped out all the potato and I put it in a bowl and I mashed it up with a fork. I got all my leftover broccoli and I diced it up tiny, tiny, tiny and I like loaded it up with broccoli. I added a little bit of salt and pepper and literally one teaspoon of sour cream. And so this is for like two whole baked potatoes. That's all I needed. I mixed it all up and I stuffed them back into the potato shells. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at it. Don't be afraid to overstuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add cheese to these. I'll have to say. <laughs> uh, it looks really good. But um, the reason I didn't want to add the rice was because I was afraid with the potatoes there might be too much carbs. But I just think that the chili is better with rice. So please take note and um, add, add a little bit of rice to it if you want. It gives it a little more body as well. So these are going to go in the back in the refrigerator until I'm ready to bake them. And I'm going to do them in my toaster oven. I'm going to bake these potatoes for a um, probably about a 20 minutes. And I'm going to have a little bowl of chili and my stuffed baked potatoes with broccoli. They are just that they, they just look so good. They look really appetizing. You don't have to have this with chili, but Stuffed baked potatoes are the best. <laughs> so I do hope that you liked today's videos on the budget chili and um, this little recipe or method of making baked stuffed potatoes. I don't usually follow a lot of recipes unless it's something I've never ever made before. So that's it for now. Um, thank you so much. I got a lot of new subscribers. I really do welcome you. You guys make my day. I, I love it so much. Thank you so much. For anyone who's joined in the last couple of days, I, um, I'm trying to thank everyone individually on my comment section um, or on my notifications if you've subscribed. So I'm trying to get everybody in there and say thank you and give you a big hug via a heart. <laughs> but so if I missed you, please uh, don't think it was done intentionally. I do answer all my comments and I try to give everybody a hug so I love you guys thank you so much and if you are new and you'd like to subscribe all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and if you'd like the recipe for my budget chili you could check that video out called budget chili have a great day folks I'll catch you on my next video